Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel on Talking with Tisha. Um, today I just want to say thank you. Thank you for all of those who prayed for Florida. During this time, um, we had Hurricane Milton. I don't even know where they come up with these hurricane names. Uh, but anyway, so 20 minutes, so driving 20 minutes down the street from my house um and that's in the car driving walking will probably take a little bit longer but driving distance 20 minutes from my house um this small community had 17 tornadoes and 35 deaths a lot of people you know they said because this hurricane no one by the way the news was saying it like in the very beginning oh you know everyone just thought when it got to us it was just going to be some wind and it was just going to be like a one a category one i mean even my job they were thinking about having us come in which is ridiculous to me but um You know, I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. And I told my girls, I'm like, you guys about to pray for Tampa because there are people, if anybody stays there, they're going to lose their lives. I mean, they were telling people to write their names on them with permanent marker. And Tampa, for me, I believe is a good three to four hours away. So if they were going to get the the most of it we were definitely gonna feel something from it right so i'm just looking around my neighbors what are they doing nobody's putting up any shutters so i mean I, and i don't have the news at my house because i figure why well, have the news you know i just have this app tv and whatever i play it plays but for some reason i was like you know what i'm gonna put my shutters up and it's a hassle. They're metal. They're heavy. It's just me. You know. So. I come home from work. It's raining. And um, I'm putting the shutters up in the rain. It wasn't pouring at first. But. I mean. I was definitely out there getting wet. And then. Um, the next day. A friend of mine said he would um, help me put some up in the back, you know, because I didn't get them all up. And I don't know, like, I wasn't afraid. You know, people, oh, are you afraid for the hurricane? Are you ready for the hurricane? You know, you never, people always say, oh, you live in Florida, you need to be prepared for natural disasters, whatever. I mean, natural stuff happens all over the place, but we have so many hurricanes, it's ridiculous. So, have your shutters, have your water, have your light, uh, your flashlights, your whatever. There's absolutely no way to be 100% prepared for that type of storm. It doesn't matter how prepared you are. It doesn't matter if you have your shutters up, it doesn't matter if you know for me i had um i have this um what do you call it it's like a, a safe i have this metal safe and i have all my important papers and documents and everything in there um this time i didn't put it in a dishwasher but they say that's what you're supposed to do because of anything it'll be in there i just put it in my bag i got up in the middle of the night because it was so bad i got up and i started packing a bag you know with everything in it but it's like who's 100 percent prepared because once you have those shutters up you have to realize you're trapped you are trapped in there there is no way out if a tree falls on your house and it's water getting in your house how are you getting out so i don't know i'd be thinking like that like 
I'm trapped in this house and can't get out. I'm telling you, when the hurricane was over, I made it my business to take down some of those shutters because I get so, like, I feel like I'm trapped. Like, your house is your tomb. But, um, other than having a little bit of anxiety for that, I wasn't, like, terribly afraid, you know, because God says, be not afraid because I am with you. But I prayed, 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 and I prayed so hard that I prayed that God protect those people in Tampa, you know, and protect us, protect my family, protect the people in my house, people that's not in my house. I prayed so much and people were on Facebook and on TikTok and Instagram praying, but they were praying for the storm to move somewhere else. Meanwhile, you have people out of state praying for Florida. So why would you pray for the storm to go somewhere else? It makes no sense to me. I just ask God to calm the storm because he can do that. You know, I mean, people come up with all these conspiracy theories about where it actually came from and about the government controlling the weather. I don't care if the government has anything to do. I don't even care. I just know that God can calm all of that. Okay. He can calm it all. I don't even know what 17 tornadoes, 20 minutes down the street from me in one community. That's just one community. It's not talking about all the tornadoes that impacted Florida that hit Florida. 17 in one community, 20 minutes down the street from me, and 35 deaths down the street from me, 25, 20, 20 minutes ago, 20 minutes down the street from me, 35 people died, and there were 17 tornadoes. Not one tornado hit my community where I live. Not a one. Not a one. I mean, people have them in their backyards all over Florida now. People had trees falling on their house. People, this one, um, this one, um, so not on my street, the street after my street, there was like a, um, you know, the poles in Florida, we have these poles and there's, um, it connects the power lines in Virginia, they're underground In Florida. We have them above ground. I guess it's because of flooding, but this one pole was so close to falling onto someone's home. They would have been crushed. You know, to drive around and see the pictures and the horrible stuff that's happening. I mean, even the sheriff's, the police, the sheriff's office was crushed. Cars were everywhere. It's like, I don't know why tornadoes hit some communities and not other communities. I don't know why these hurricanes happen or happen or don't happen. I don't know why they go in one place and not the other place. All I know is God is good. God is good all the time. And if you don't believe in him, if you don't fear him, if you don't have faith in him, if you don't trust in him, then just unfollow me. Because a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about in most of my videos is going to be God, godly based. Like I'm, I'm always going to praise God and give God the glory because God is the meaning and God is so powerful. There's nothing like him. Nothing like him. So if you're one of those that pray for the storm to just go somewhere else, unfollow me. I don't need people like that following me. Pray. You're going to pray. Pray for stuff like, you know, pray for God to make it still, to make it calm. To, you know, God said, peace, be still. And it was. God he knows we're human he knows we're gonna worry he knows we're gonna be afraid and we're gonna fear things that um that we're not used to or you know but for those who did lose their lives i want to give my condolences to the family to the friends to any any if you lost anyone even if it was just an animal because animals are our family too you know, people lost their, their horses and I pray, I'm, I'm praying for you all to so God. I, I pray for you all, you know, man, I'm so sorry it happened. I'm so sorry it happened to you. 
I'm so sorry you're going through this. Just know that whomever you lost, if you lost someone, just know they're in a better place. When God calls us home, we go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that woman who's she went outside to clean her home around her house and the tree fell on her and she died. I'm sorry for those people in that community. 35 deaths. I'm sorry for all the people that did die around the world in Florida. I'm sorry for the hurricane that didn't hit us. Helena and Helen or whatever the heck that hurricane's name was and she killed 900 people in North Carolina. Thank you for all who prayed for us. And thank you for all who had us in your thoughts. And I'm so sorry for anyone that you have lost in this hurricane. And thank you for listening. And I got to go because I feel like I keep rambling and gonna run up in the store you know i didn't even lose power <laughs> see how god is good you know i wasn't prepared i ran to the store to get some candles because couldn't find any flashlights anywhere because i don't know but when we have hurricanes in florida the shelves are bare no tissue no no you know no nothing everything is just gone bare i mean people fighting over gas instead of just going one at a time but and i was so worried that i was going to lose power like i was freezing water to put in between my meats that i do have and i didn't lose power but on the street two three streets in my same area they lost power and they just got power today so god is good keep praying keep your faith keep living your life like every day is a blessing you know i know they say one day could be your last day live every day like it's your last don't live every day like it's your last live every day like it's a blessing a blessing from god he breathed air into your body into your lungs to wake you up so be grateful for every single day Living your life like it's your last means going out doing some bogus crap that no one else would do. You know, sky jumping and crazy stuff that people don't really do. I don't know. People don't really do. But, um, yeah. To God be the glory. God is good. God is good all the time. And thank you for praying for Florida. You guys have a blessed day. Take care.